Hi everyone. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Also, happy Valentine's Day. My name is Josephine. I'm an advisor here in my tarot advisor and today I'm going to be doing an enhanced oracle card spread on LGBT relationships. What will unfold on Valentine's Day? Also, what's going to come in prior and after to that as well. Um, I definitely feel like this is going to be a, a very strong time where basically your relationship is going to meet the course of uh, making or breaking. Um, for those of you that will be breaking, um, very sorry. Um, I know it's not easy to disconnect with somebody that you care about or love, not just romantically, but you know, anybody that you have a very strong and drawn connection to as well. Um, it can be very hard to go through that, to go through that emotional battle and struggle through it. But you know, we can't allow ourselves to dwell upon the past, so that way it won't affect our current and affect our future. And unfortunately, you know, I'm sorry that you have to go through this, but at the same time, you know. You can't be involved with somebody either or in any type of situation that's not going to be for you in your life. That's only going to cause you more confusion, um, more harm done in the long run. You know, you need to move forward and kind of just allow yourselves to connect with what should be happening for you in your life. And, um, you know, I just don't want you to feel like you are alone. Um, you know, all my readings are confidential, but I come across a lot of people that are going through a lot of struggles, a lot of emotional battles, and it's not easy for people, you know, when they're going through a breakup and they don't have an option to repair. And unfortunately, you know, it's something that it could take those, and people have known not just months, it could take them sometimes years to get over it. But I really want to encourage everyone to kind of let this new year um, to be a great quarter for us to kind of just turn around, you know, to do a transitions and all different things, you know, not just in our love life and whatnot, but, you know, especially in love. And also, you know, we just had Lunar New Year kicking in. So with that energy kind of captivating together, it's allowing us to kind of be more on a clear uh, track. So I believe that's another thing that's connecting to what's going to happen on Valentine's Day. Um, anyway, for those of you that are going to be making in your relationships, um, this is going to be a time for if you're going through a struggle, if there's been distance or just some kind of complication or you've been having some issues for quite some time um, in your relationship, this is going to be a time, you know, if you're meant to make um, where things are going to start coming more together, where you're going to start working on your problems, putting your differences aside and just kind of connecting to being one, if that makes sense. Um, so that's good just because if you've been battling that for quite some time, things are going to start coming more together for you um, and things are going to start coming more clearer. Now, also, you know, if you're going through a situation with somebody, but, you know, your heart is no longer there and maybe you're just holding on to it just because you feel the need that you have to. And maybe it could just also be because it's like it's the idea of what was there before, but it's not currently there anymore. This is going to be also a good time for moving on. So I'm I'm sorry, you know, if anybody has to have any kind of emotional suffering through this time and period, but at the same time, I'm remaining positive about this because I feel like it's going to help lead you and put you on a more clear course in your life for what you should be involved in versus just being involved in something that's not going to get you anywhere. You know what I mean? And again, if for those of you that are meant to proceed and go forward, this is definitely going to be a time where you're going to start to see things more clearly um, and be on a more in-depth course. Um, now, I definitely see a lot of... Um, because you're going to start to have signals and signs, you know what I mean? Things are going to come to you from what I'm picking up on to kind of figure out, you know, what's going on, not just in with your partner, but also in your relationship. Um, I'm sensing that 
these signs are going to come available to you probably about two days before Valentine's Day and going into about three to three and a half days after so. Um, but, you know, y'all just feel it. But, you know, throughout situations that may be going through your partner or just conversations on a daily notice, um, you're going to start to see things more clearly and kind of understand, you know, what you should be doing and... Again, if that's letting go, you have no choice at this point. You're just going to have to allow what the universe has designed for you to go forward with. Um, this is not just something I'm picking up on also uh, for LGBT relationships. You know, I'm picking up on this kind of energy is working for pretty much all of us. You know, it really doesn't matter what your orientation is. It honestly doesn't. Um, all of us, you know, go through the same things at the same times, um, or it could be different times and they could be similar things too. I mean, obviously we're our own individual characters, so things could always be different for each and every one of us. Um, but I definitely am very big and a lot of things I'm very big and when New Year's transition, um, Eastern zodiacs as well as western zodiacs um also full moons eclipses if there are so many periods days um you know what i mean it could be afterwards or prior um sometimes that can mean something to particular holidays you know what i mean it can represent sometimes it being a negative one for a lot of people or a positive one and a change um so you know, cards show a lot of information, um, but also besides from that, you know, I think that you have to kind of just calculate everything and just really understand, you know, what's going on in the universe and what all these signs going on together and this time itself, you know, what is going to happen. Um, but anyways, I hope I could have helped you who have watched my video and um, I hope you have a terrific day.